Oh, now can I hear myself? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, you're hearing you. Oh. Is that weird? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> You're listening to Those Dram Yinzers with your hosts, John and Zach. Hey everyone, I'm John. And I'm Lisa. And welcome to Those Dram Yinzers, a special edition of Those Dram Yinzers where we drink days 16 through 20 of the Pittsburgh Whiskey Friends Whiskey Advent Calendar. And then, as Zach likes to say for this one, guess about it. For everything Those Dram be f- be sure to visit thosedramyanswers.com. You can find our social media links, our Patreon page, order form for our TDY hats, and the link to Zach's favorite website, which is dramit.threadless.com, where you can buy all kind of merch for the show. And if you're interested in sponsoring the show, send us a DM or email us at thosedramyanswers at gmail.com. Okay, now the business is out of the way. No, that was not Zach's voice, and Zach did not do the rest of his part because he is just, you know, swamped with work, and it's close to the holiday, so it's a lot of family time. So uh, we have a very, very, very special guest. My wife, Lisa, has decided to join <laughs> the show today, who is not a big fan of whiskey, so this is going to be a very, very interesting take. <laughs> what did you say earlier today when you said you do it? Like... Hey, if your wife's not into whiskey, she might want to listen to this one yeah, or something like that. that's true. I can provide that perspective. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate whiskey. I like a good... You, you've you gotten really into old fashions, especially Re- like yes. the, the... What did you just have? What was the one you just I had? I had an apple pie old fashioned it, yeah. recently at 1700 Penn mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. Harry Potter Trivia Night. Fourth place. Thank you very mm-hmm. much. 1700 Penn, which is the second location, not second <laughs> location, but sister location for Pennsylvania Libations. Christian owns both. It has uh, which what's, what's the brewery? Helltown. Helltown Brewery, and then all PA made wines, mead, and ciders, mm-hmm. and and trivia nights. And trivia nights. They have a Britney Spears. They have a freed Britney oh. trivia night coming up. I think next week. I'm curious how how that crossover would happen with our listeners and who would attend a, well, that that type of <laughs> trivia. <laughs> Should tell I should tell Kristen to, to find someone who can do a whiskey trivia. True, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that would work, but <laughs> as uh, per ev- the, the every other bottle, we're going to jump right back into the story. Number 16 is titled Jimmy's Gazebo Christmas Special, which is a play on Pee Wee's Playhouse Christmas Special. <laughs> So we got Jim, Jim's face uh, uh, over top of uh, Pee Wee's face. So that's pretty funny. Uh, okay, so here's the, here's the continued story. <clears throat> Day 16. Scott and Max, using the Grinch's sleigh, have been returning all the whiskey the wet bandits stole. There's a lot to return. It's very time consuming. It's not looking good for all the whiskey to be returned before Christmas. Jim has an idea. He knows that Wafflebot was the secret to stealing all the whiskey. What if we could repair the waffle bot and get it to help return the whiskey? Jim tinkered, he toiled, and his many attempts were all foiled. He hammered and soldered, but waffle bot just teetered, then tottered. Bing, pop, and waffle bot shuddered and shook and exclaimed, Waffle bot is the sole property of the Grinch. If you are not the Grinch, and you are in possession of Wafflebot, you are a thief, a scoundrel. Grinchy like he roar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you don't put this much emotion into like bedtime stories with our two year old. <laughs> oh, I do. No, 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 I do. You're just never around when I do that. <laughs> I, I, I'm so has be... this been like a, a this is a sequential continu- story? Yes. So it started with. The wet bandit stealing auto all of our moderators, uh, Humberto, who lives up near like Allegheny. Okay. Um, stealing all of his whiskey. Gotcha. Says <laughs> so the wet bandits stole his whiskey two days in a row because it was uh, Home Alone and then Home Alone 2 were like the gotcha. spoofs. Okay. For the first two days. But yeah. So it's all about that. <laughs> and again, if you're not following Pittsburgh Whiskey Friends on Instagram and you're not in the group, Make sure you go to follow them on Instagram so you can follow along with the stories and all the fun uh, labels. You know, Pee Wee Herman 
whiskey isn't the first spirit I think of with him. See, I don't. I didn't watch Pee Wee Herman. Well, who would you think of? Think of the song. I, I don't know the song. Tequila. Okay. Like he's dancing on the table. Does anybody get that reference? I, I didn't. I didn't watch any. I don't know if we just weren't allowed or just Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Maybe. Oh yeah, I never saw any. I'm of those. sure somebody will know the reference. Hopefully, not me. Sorry. <laughs> Aaron's going to, I'm going to get a text from Aaron Lane. You don't know it? We start with nose. So what do you smell? Hmm. I feel like I smell whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, um, I feel like I can smell sweetness mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. some sort. I get more like, I think of like a dried dark fruit, like a dried cherry, like that kind of like. I feel like. When I smell a whiskey, I can already taste it. Like that's, it just hits me. <laughs> <laughs> you smell the alcohol. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's a good thing I can smell. Yeah, it's always good. Because I've had this horrible cough. Yeah. So it's a good test. Mm-hmm. So now we taste. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's very dry. Yeah. I'm trying to put words to what I tasted. That's that's kind of the idea. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Like almost like a like a bitterness, like a coffee to me is what I'm getting. Okay. Coffee. You know what? Let me get you something. Hold on. For those playing the home game, since this is video, I, I got her our flavor wheel out to give her a little. But no, coffee is a note that people get a lot of times. What do you think? It's dry. It's got a typical pepper spice in the middle. It does linger a bit. I'm not getting much of a hug. Like the burn. No, I feel like I feel it instantly, but not after. Mm-hmm. Like it quickly goes away, which is good for me <laughs> see as i'm looking at your little flavor wheel i see the black pepper Mm-hmm. like i can even yeah i think you're chewing on black peppercorn yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the finish is like how long it lingers you said yeah like does it linger does it does the does the flavor like does the the taste and the flavor change when it gets to the back of your mouth and like we already said like we don't really get a hug like there's a little bit no, of beginning yeah. but then it just like pfft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but definitely more of like a bitter to me. But of course, maybe, who knows? Maybe I'll say that it's all right. with all five of them. <laughs> I'm guessing like a high 90s. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say 95-ish. Yeah, I'm guessing, I'm guessing like a 98. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I think this, I mean, ob- every. <laughs> I say it enough, but it ha- that pepper always makes you want to originally think rye. Because what are the choices in there um, for type? So you can, I mean, it can literally be anything. It can be a bourbon. It can be a rye. It could just be like an American whiskey. Okay. Other options are like Scotch, Irish, Japanese. Mm, okay. There's actually Indian whiskey, but I doubt there's any there because it's very hard to get here. That's going to be more your wheelhouse, <laughs> picking the type here. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick a bourbon on this i know that i know i screwed myself last time when i didn't go with my gut but was that your gut i know it's always rye especially when i taste that pepper but i've always i'm like 90 percent of the time i'm wrong <laughs> and then the other 10 10 percent of the time when i'm right i second guess myself and then say the opposite and then i'm you know and then i'm still wrong do you want to try to guess the type i'll say rye okay <laughs> i'll go the other way all right okay so for me i'm not getting anything crazy out of this i think it is like drinkable but it's not, I, I feel like this tastes like a run-of-the-mill kind of thing. Watch, that's probably something really nice. <laughs> so I'm going to go downtown on this. Blind, gonna, I'll go downtown. So I'm going to throw it at. Okay. Only because some I can, like, I will want to take a bigger gulp of. Mm-hmm. I will, But, like, this, I just didn't even want it on my lips. As soon as I, as soon as I tried it, because I, I drank it first, I knew you weren't probably going to enjoy it. Now, if we get like a nice, like sweeter bourbon, I think you will like it. Because you're more of like a rum fan to begin with. Mm-hmm. More specifically, you're a Maggie's fan. Maggie's Farm. Yes. Spiced rum yes. girl. So. <laughs> Which, speaking of, there's a Maggie's Farm maple syrup at Steel City Salts right now. Is there? There is. Are you trying to tell me to go down there and buy you some? Hint, hint. Nudge, <laughs> nudge. <laughs> Shout out to Steel City Salt. They're another oh, yeah. great local business. Down here in Millville. I'm very proud. Like Amazon only got like a very small amount of our money for Christmas this year. Yeah, very minimal. I got something like later, but like just because I couldn't find it anywhere else. I'll just keep shouting out all my favorite Pittsburgh local businesses. on. Well, we're, we've gone to Steel City. That'll be my trend. Like Steel City Clothing, we've gone to love. Love Pittsburgh. We're big fans of Pittsburgh Candle. Workshop Pittsburgh, which is on Penn Avenue. They are mm-hmm. excellent. I just went there today. 
for the second time. <laughs> As I think of them, I'll keep, Just keep shouting dropping, them out. <laughs> dropping names. Because it doesn't have to be Christmas for you to no, it support does not. any of them. No, it does not. Okay. So. All right, Jimmy's gazebo. On to the next later. one. Seeing this one makes me forget that I forgot to give a, a big shout out to our buddies over at Thrifty Whiskey on YouTube. They have been doing daily shows of tasting the the calendar, but also pairing it with the Aldi cheese advent calendar. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So it's jo- Josh and his wife are oh, doing it funny. together. Yeah. See, cheese I could do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the reason why it made me think, oh, I forgot to talk about it was because Aaron called them out today. <laughs> Aaron called Josh out today because he didn't know who Emmett Otter was. It was like an older, like, Muppet kind of – like, I'm talking, like, like older Muppets. Uh, when you see the picture, you might oh, not okay, recognize okay. it. okay. It's a Jim Henson. Got it. Jim Henson's Christmas classic, Emmett Otter's Whiskey Jug Christmas is uh, number 17. <laughs> oh, my God. That's me. And Zach. Oh, my God. <laughs> on the picture? Yeah. I haven't – I have been trying not to look because uh, – Is this on – Instagram. Oh, I can't see it, though. Can Instagram, I? yeah. All right, so while I read, you can look that up. Day 17. Emmett and Ma weren't sure what they were going to do. With the whiskey missing, missing, spirits were low. People weren't using Ma's laundry. They just didn't seem to care if their clothes were neatly pressed or if their collars were nicely starched. Now, way back, Emmett's great-grandpa, Elmer Otter, was known to make a mighty fine corn whiskey. It was known... From Frogtown Hollow to Waterville and even all the way to River Bottom. Emmett decided that's what he was going to do. He was going to make a batch of Elmer T. Otter's very fine corn whiskey and get everyone's spirits lifted. Perfect. Love it, Aaron. Elmer T. Lee is an actual whiskey that's made. So that's a very good play on that one. Okay, so I know what Elmer Otter is. I've never seen this one, so don't hate me, Aaron. I feel like I've seen... The one that is not photoshopped in the back. <laughs> yeah. With like the two. Like I feel like these characters might have been in The Christmas Carol, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh, more than, more than like, likely. Like I just feel they like had, I've seen. They had a lot of uh, like the Jim Henson Muppets in that, you know. Oh, that was number 15. It was. Mm-hmm. And it was very weird whiskey. <laughs> so do, do, does the story of the day give you any clues or hints? It has not. Oh, okay. Well. No. So there's no, like, Easter eggs? <laughs> no. No, no, no. I like a good Easter egg. Mm-hmm. Man, that Photoshop is terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just I do love the, I do love the Pittsburgh Whiskey Friend logo on the on the jug, though. That's fantastic. I like the smell of this one much better. You do? Okay. I don't feel like there's as much there as there was with the other one, and I really didn't get a lot with the other one. Maybe it's just because I'm not getting hit with, like, the alcohol. Mm-hmm. It's crisp. Yeah, like, fresh. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, there's the typical, like, sweet notes that you would, t- you know, get. But maybe even, like, fruit. So there's no spice on it like the last one, but it kind of dies. It lingers more. Really? Because it dies out for me halfway through. <laughs> okay, now wait. Now the hug comes back a little later, but I don't really taste anything past, like, halfway. I mean, it's good. Could get you in trouble. But, yeah, I mean, it's still that sweet crisp up front with the typical vanilla and all that. But it dies. Real fast. And the hug shows up for a little bit, but like delayed. It definitely isn't corn whiskey, that's for sure. 86 proof. Yeah, I feel like it was less than the other one. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'm going to say like 85. Okay. You, uh, Matt was playing uh, Price is Right rules on me. <laughs> oh, closest without going over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could tolerate that one more. So whatever so that means. I think, I think this, this one is a bourbon. I'm probably going to regret keeping that number 16 as a bourbon, but this is a bourbon. It's hard. This is so hard blind, like, rating it because, like, I don't get a lot out of it, but it is this easy drinker. Mm-hmm. So, usually easy drinkers get a half because it's just like, yeah, like, cool. Oh, okay. But, like, I don't know enough about it to be like, oh, like, I was expecting more. I was expecting less. Or mm. So, I'm going to stick to a downtown, but that'll probably, that might change. It would definitely be a downtown for me. That might change once once we do the reveal up next, mm. so... Like, give me it in a nice old-fashioned. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How you doing? Two in. How you doing? Considering I'm not chugging them. <laughs> no, no. No, no, Might get rid of your cough. <clears throat> Let's hope. All right. I know you're going to like this next one. All right. Let me pull it up. Disney's The Scotch Horde. <laughs> now, who is this lovely fellow? 
I think that's Alex, based on how this story is about to go. So, oh, do, you, do you want to read this story? Good, you read this one. I read them all. You got to read this one. <laughs> this is your favorite Christmas movie, though. The I do Santa like Claus. This Christmas. Well, or Home Alone. I really haven't decided which one wins out. Oh, that's easy for me. I know you don't like Home Alone. I don't. You're hating on it, I but don't. two is better. Okay. Day 18. News of the Wet Bandits heist reached the Great White North of Detroit, and Alexander was heartbroken by this unfortunate turn of events. Suddenly, he remembered that he has a flask from his last visit to Umberto's house. He pours himself a final dram of the night as a toast to the lost whiskey when a sudden and unexpected change started to overcome him. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with peat smoke and soot. A bundle of whiskey he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, the whiskey was aged in sherry. <laughs> These are clever. Yeah. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head just like peat. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. When he looked in the mirror, he said to himself, What exactly was in that flask that I just consumed? And sudden, suddenly, haunting lyrics filled the room. Someday you will find me caught beneath the landslide in an ard big supernova in the sky. Oh, is this like a play on the song? Yeah, they bounce around like that. Got it. Alexander, now empowered with the magic of the claws, knew what he must do. <laughs> like on um, one of ones the other time, he pulled uh, uh, a Is piece- Ardbeg a brand? Ardbeg is a scotch, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. He pulled uh, a snippet from uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Do we think this is going to be a scotch? Since it's I, I mean, such? based on our guesses of everything Ooh, that I should like have been something, based on our guesses of, of everything that should have been <clears> something, <throat> our guesses have proven it wrong. I'm not going to say whether we were right or not, but oh. I definitely like the smell of this one. Okay. You, this may be the first one that is correct. This is this is definitely leaning towards a scotch. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's definitely like a peat, like a, like a, it's not heavy peat like you would get in. I feel like smoky, like a, mm-hmm. is that a right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Smoky, like camp, there's campfire smoke, there's yeah. black marker. Yeah, I was just, yeah, I was mm-hmm. going to say that too. That's all peat. Yeah, so this actually is probably going to be a scotch. So you just, I made all that big sentence, and now I'm going to have to like delete it because I was wrong. Yeah, the smell feels very like nostalgic. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a typical, <clears throat> it's not a heavy, heavy peat. It's a lot lighter on the nose. I get a little crispness in there. I'm diving in. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm actually, that's actually like interesting to me that you like this nose out of all of them because I would not have picked you to like <clears throat> how scotch smells. Oh, really? Mm. It would be very off-putting to people. Oh. Like, it's like like IPAs. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? Like, some people are like, yes, I'm into this right away. Other people are like, I have to work up to it. Hmm. That's interesting. It doesn't linger long for me. No, no, for me either. Um, it's a lot lighter on that. I feel like I can taste the marker. Now I'm going back and forth if this is a scotch or if this is like a scotch finished something or other. Typical light peaty note, kind of dies out, dries my mouth out, and then, and then hug. Ain't crazy. I don't know if it's because it's the third one, but I don't mind drinking it as much as the other two. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting turn of events tonight. <laughs> It could just be because, oh, I was just going to say my mouth is warmed up, but that opens up. Oh, you, mm-mm, no, you're fine. That giving tasting notes is very, <laughs> very much innuendos <laughs> or can be turned into innuendos very easily. Mouth feel. I think there's a. How it hits my tongue. <laughs> the finish. I keep going. That's okay. <laughs> there's definitely a hug with this one, though, I think. You don't think? Like, I feel like I'm sitting here or it's just me again being three whiskeys in. I like that one. I'm going to go 80. 80. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. going to say 90. Okay. I do think this is a scotch. I don't think this is a scotch finished <laughs> something or other, okay. like a bourbon or a rye finished in a scotch barrel, because I don't get any notes of that. So I'm going to stick to that this is a scotch. I'm not going to try to even guess reason. So I'm just going to say scotch. <laughs> Usually when it's lighter, I like to say, you know, one way or the other, but I'm just going to stick with scotch. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a, a hass because this is uh, if this is a scotch, it's a very I think it's a very good intro scotch as we're seeing. Yeah, because you're actually not like wincing. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Maybe I'll call it a hass too then. Uh oh. Since we live Need in the same. Up. Since we live in the same hass. We do live in the my same hass. My hass is your hass. I should let you try that Nick Offerman one then. 
Why? Because it's a scotch. Oh, not not right now. <laughs> well, no, not right now. We gotta <laughs> keep rolling. See, but. that's that's the difference between your brain and my brain on the week of Christmas. What? Then I'm just thinking, oh man, we have these gift wraps. I have these cookies to make. Yeah, what's wrong with drinking while you're doing all that? <laughs> it can multitask. All righty. So nineteen. This is kind of like four state night. Maybe we need to do this. Can you more come often. on the show more often. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey thoughts with Lisa. Oh hey. Well, where are you at with the ones you drive? When's the last time you checked? Oh, we're around 600. We needed, what, 750 to break 3,000? Yeah, 750 was the goal for this year. So mm-hmm. still got time. I'm going to do it till the end of the year. So Good. So um, I think, I, yeah, you made the original post shareable. I've shared it to the page, to the whiskey, to our page, the show's page. But if you're in Whiskey Friends in on Facebook, search for us, search for our post. You'll find my post about like all the link and everything to to be able to to donate onesies to the NICU and children's mm-hmm. fifth year. That's nuts. No. Do you want to read this one too? You know, you got to give it up. Did Aaron do all the? Um, I think it was a, a combined effort. Okay, but probably Aaron's very like creative. very creative. Yeah. This one is called Sloshed. Okay. The spirits we drink might lead to odd and ancestral waves. Hysterical? I, okay, so when I go over here, it's like blurred. So hysterical. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it's uh, Scrooge, the uh, spoof that's on what, Scrooge yeah, with uh, Bill tell. Murray. Is that day 19. We are headed into the final stretch. Days 20 to 25 are ahead of us, and Christmas is almost here. Um, I just, should I read that part? Yeah, sure. I just wanted to take a moment, break out of story mode, and provide a quote from one of my favorite Christmas movies, Scrooge. Hope you will join us in closing out 2021 with our final charity event. What's the final charity event? I'll get to that one here in a second. Okay. <laughs> you are part of the miracle. You are the spirit of Christmas all year round. Thank you for all your support, participation, and love. Cheers. Okay, so here is the quote. You have to take a chance. You do have to get involved. There are people that are having having trouble making their miracle happen. There are people that don't have enough to eat or people that are cold. You can go out and say hello to these people. You can take an old blanket out of the closet and say, here. You can make them a sandwich and say, oh, by the way, here. I, I get it now. And if you if you give, then it can happen. Then the miracle can happen to you. It's not just the poor and the hungry. It's everybody who's got to have this miracle. And it can happen tonight for all of you. If you believe in this spirit thing, the miracle will happen. And then you'll want it to happen again tomorrow. You won't be one of those bastards who says Christmas is once a year and it's a fraud. It's not. It can happen every day. You've just got to want that feeling. And if you like it, and if you want it, you'll get greedy for it. You'll want it every day of your life, and it can happen to you. I believe in it now. I believe it's going to happen to me now. I'm ready for it, and it's great. It's a good feeling. It's really better than I felt in a long time. I, I'm ready. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. Frank Cross. Nice. Okay, so the charity event is if you're in the group, basically. So Aaron made a post on December 15th saying we're going to hold an end of the year holiday charity raffle again this year. If you like to donate an item to the raffle, please out fill out the form below. He linked the form. Submissions will be accepted until 6 p.m. Sunday, 1219, which is passed at this point. Um, however, raffle tickets are going to be available starting 1220, which is behind us. Uh, the drawing will occur Friday, 1231 at noon. So you'll still have some time. So is there peop- a specific charity they donate so to? So people asked about that, and they decided. <clears throat> so here's what he said. He said, there were some questions about the charity slash charities we're going to support this year instead of dictating who you support we're going to to allow you to select the charity of your choice hmm. you'll make your donation between monday 12 20 which again is behind us and thursday 12 30 which is ahead of us and post in the comments picture of your donation a post will be published on monday 12 20 to announce the start of the effort and to capture the donation details which is um what he did so nice and um speaking of charity so um ten dollars from the advent calendar boxes like from each box um, was allocated for charity. Oh, okay. It's instead of like, there's no reason for them to make a profit off of it, right? They, they try to keep the, the cost as low as they can. So they, because we had a hundred, they had a thousand dollars, uh, for donation. Aaron was awesome and matched the donation. So wow. he, he donated two thousand dollars to 412 Food Rescue. Oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. They're, they're a really great organization. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so bad. I don't know a lot about like a lot of the different like charity ones. Like I typically like when we usually do, they do a lot. They're with really good with reducing like food waste from local restaurants, I believe. Oh, really? And hopefully I'm not getting any of that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that, yeah, mm-hmm. I have a lot of friends that actually. Actually, he bumped it up. 
So he he his total give was uh, two thousand one hundred and thirteen dollars and thirteen cents. Yeah, their like tag on Instagram is up to forty percent of food is wasted, while one in seven are hungry. We bridge that disconnect in Pittsburgh. Awesome. Yeah, good. that's really awesome. Good, good, good. We've usually done like uh, the county like um, like food pantry. We've done we've done that before. All right, so nineteen. What do you smell? I don't think I'm gonna like this one. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's like medicinal. Because, like, if I smell that alcohol really strong. That's kind of what's making me say, like, that medicinal aspect is it's a very alcohol forward. It's very, I mean, it's very pressed, like. Yeah. It hits you in the face. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to dive in because I can't get past that. If you're making a face, I'm definitely going to make a face. <laughs> oh, this is. Mm, whoo, all right. I'm going to watch you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. That is very strong. Mm-hmm. That's hot. Mm-hmm. Like spicy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is... Okay, so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be higher proof. See, looking at this flavor wheel, is this like something like a child of whiskey would use? Like, No, a lot of people use it. I honestly just keep forgetting I have it. No, but I definitely think the initial... It's the initial spice. Mm-hmm. But then I see one of the branches of that is like herbal. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm getting, like a mm-hmm. like a bitter herbal. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely like... You know how you like you, you clench your face when you eat something sour. Yeah. So I like that. I'm glad you found that note that bitter. Yeah, I think that really hits it on the nose. This does have a little bit of a hug, but not. It doesn't linger as long as. No, the hug stays a lot longer than the other ones in the past, and this dries my mouth out right away. Yeah. See, it's weird. I went to take another taste, and I can almost smell chocolate. Okay. Well, it's interesting to go back to the nose after you've tried it because, like, some a lot of the times. Some things may come through again. <laughs> Ooh, I still think the strongest hug might have been the last one for me. I want to say this is higher proof, like 120, but... <clears throat> I'm going to say it's like a 105. Don't, I don't know I'm going to back off and go 115. <laughs> I think this is a rye, hands down. All, all of that bitter, that, that spicy, that... Yeah, I'm going to throw that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's not for me. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, yeah. I can't wait till you do reveal and it's like, this is the. It always happens to me. Most wonderful whiskey. It's always, you know what? You know what probably this is? This is what's going to happen. This is probably a wild turkey something or other. Because I did, don't like oh. wild turkey. <laughs> I found out through this, not this particular advent calendar, but a bit from the advent calendar from two years ago that I do not like wild turkey products. Oh. Okay. Blind. I don't like them. I mean, if you like that kind of spice, this is you. But blind, no thank you. All right, for the last one. I'm ready. Pappy. There's no way. This is a play <laughs> on um, Jingle All the Way. Mm-hmm. Did you know there was a second one? It was I saw Larry the Cable Guy. Oh, God, I would hate it. <laughs> Which means I would love it. Ugh, not watching that. Now, Pappy is the one that everybody goes. It's one of the. Over. Y- yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Jingle All the Way. I haven't seen that. I, I loved that movie when I was like, younger. Oh, me too. We watched it all the time. Mm hmm. He got two. He got two. When they're like trying to get the little like lottery balls and like the crowd jumps on top of Schwarzenegger and Sinbad getting that way. Mm-hmm. You just said you love that movie, so I thought <laughs> if I popped a. I guess that's wrong. I feel like that's how it was when my sister wanted like a Buzz Lightyear the one year. Mm, and I think it was mm-hmm, like really hard mm-hmm. to get. And yeah. I know there's toys like older kids. I don't feel like there's anything we know yet of. Not that. No, I think because there's also so much of, there's yeah. so much entertainment out there. True. Yeah. That. It's not just, yeah, every kid's not watching the same five yeah. shows. Which, no, no, the only <laughs> thing I think we did find, have a hard time finding anything for him this year was anything from Bluey. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, it it, sh- it popped up, but it was like not as like, you know, mm-hmm. uh, popular as some other shows that, that Disney puts out. Which if you're listening and you're a parent of a younger one, you know what Bluey is. And if you don't, you should. Yeah, even if actually, you're not a parent, it's watch actually it. one you can tolerate. <laughs> yeah, if you even if you're not a parent, I think you would still enjoy Bluey on Disney Plus. I think so too. It's really good. It's a parenting show, parenting cartoon that's that your kids can watch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, are we ready to roll with twenty? Yeah. I didn't read the story yet. Don't oh, smell I'm it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> okay, day twenty. Pappy is hard to get normally. Add in a whiskey shortage due to the wet bandit shenanigans, and yeah, you have a better chance of winning the Powerball while getting struck by lightning while, fi- 
finding publishers clearing house at your front door. Christopher has a problem. He needs a bottle of Pappy. It's not for Christopher. It's for his father-in-law. It's the one bottle his father-in-law has always wanted but has never been able to secure. If not now, then when? The one thing this time during quarantine has driven home, there is no better time than now. Of course, now is also the worst possible time simultaneously. Thanks, Murphy. Ooh, floral. A, yes, thank you. Very much floral. Yeah. Like, thousand percent floral. That's what I couldn't figure out. Thank you. Oh, yeah, like like a fresh thing of flowers oh, you just yeah. brought home from like Trader Joe's or something like that. Definitely. Carrots. Carrots? Yeah, like fresh carrots. Not like baby carrots, like fresh, like full, like, pr- like just peeled oh. carrots. Yeah, I can smell mm-hmm. that. Oh, that's weird. It might just be because you said carrots and now I smell well, it. Well, that's kind of what also... Well, <laughs> you said floor and I was like, yes, that was it. Yeah. You know, I've never gotten... I've gotten this this past month <laughs> and a half, two months, I've oh. gotten notes I've never gotten before. I t- I smelled one that, t- that smelled like Parmesan cheese. We're not wincing. Are you trying to hold down like puking? <laughs> no. No, I was trying to like hold it in my mouth. There, There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. I don't hate that one. That's got scotch tendency to it. It's got that campfire smoke, which I haven't had High West. High West has a campfire. I haven't had that in a while, but it's definitely got like a fire, like a campfire smoke to it. Yeah. Like the taste is a lot more harsh than the smell. <laughs> yeah. There's no floral taste on the taste. I get that nice campfire, a campfire smoke. Yeah. I can. Yeah. Especially like the longer that it, mm-hmm. that it sits. I kind of mm. taste the chocolate. Like a. Like a dark chocolate? Like a dark. Like a dark, yeah. bitter chocolate? Mm-hmm. You're doing... I'm just saying, I didn't know we're almost done, but you're doing really well for your first time. That's what she said. <laughs> it just solidifies her role on this show. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sweet moment, though. It was. Nobody would have ever known that we were dealing with a super cranky, wild... Oh, my gosh. ...toddler right before Who was we like started this. pulling at my beard like we were trying to leave your sisters. Oh, my God. There are just some days... I mean, mm-hmm. hopefully other people with kids can relate, but you count down the minutes, the seconds to bedtime. <laughs> you just cannot wait. <laughs> Tonight was one of those well, Especially nights. like that. I mean, he was going through his witching hour. Let's be honest. Like, he always yeah. has that, like, like the last hour before he's ready for bed. It's just, like, cranked Ooh. up to 12 and just gone. <laughs> yeah. And boys are just, I know I keep saying that, but man. Or maybe it's just our kid. I don't know. Mm. A lot of energy. I mean, I only know boys, so. Yeah. <laughs> the weird thing is I don't like I don't not I mean I see now I would love to compare this one to 18 because that was the only one that I rated a Hass because it is a scotch well they they should be lined up so you no could. they are yeah did you feel like it had that strong of a hug it got like smokier and like as it sat there but it didn't no I may re- it, it actually it doesn't have as much of a I know I said 18 was 80 proof but like I'm kind of backing off of that especially after this one I feel like this is lower. What did I say? Eighteen was ninety. I wonder if this. Why would is... I say eighteen is a hass? You really you, now comparing the oh, two. You enjoyed it uh, compared to the other ones. You know what I mean? But compared to this one, you don't like it as much. I think this one I like better than eighteen now. Mm. See, I want to say this is finished, but I don't. I don't. I, I don't think I can commit to that. But I do think this is also a scotch. I don't think it's a finished bourbon, finished rye. <clears throat> I mean, it could be Japanese. Japanese whiskey a lot of the times is finished in Scotch barrels. So it could be that. I think I'm gonna stick with Scotch because I don't. I don't know if they could get their hands on that much of one bottle of a Japanese whiskey. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stick with Scotch. I don't get a crazy hug. I'm gonna say 80 for this one as well, even though I'm, I know I'm wrong oh, on boy. the other one. I said 100. Oh, you think it's more? <laughs> I don't because I gave 18 a Hass. I'm giving this, this one a Hass number one. That other one was a Hass number two. <laughs> So like if you had to pick between the two of them, you were you would pick yeah. If 20. I only wanted, if I only could get one Hass, it'd be the twenty. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd stick a Hass in this one as well. I mean, it's nothing crazy. This is actually a good way for like a non whiskey drinker mm-hmm. to learn like what you would like out. Yep. Instead of just like relying on like the whiskey Next. drinker that's with you, like hey, no, just get mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Woodford or get whatever. Mm-hmm. Like it, like I'm I'm very interested to hear what these are. To then know, like, oh, I like that, or you know, mm-hmm. yeah. There you go. That's that's the, those five. Be sure, you know, if you're not in Whiskey Friends on Facebook, which you should be. If you're not, follow Pittsburgh Whiskey Friends on Instagram. You can follow along with the stories. And I haven't done the outro because we're not done with this yet. Mm-hmm. So for right now, I will say, 
Thank you, honey, for coming on the show. Oh, you're so welcome. We, what have we learned? Lisa likes scotch. Never would have thought Shock the hell that. out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just bring that bottle of Nick Hoffman and we'll just drink that while we wrap. Sleep sounds better to me than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. All right. Well, for now, see you later.